for black girl nerds. Ladies, I enjoyed this so much. This was like a beautiful love letter to black women, to black families, to the holiday season. It really beautiful, really magnificent. Madeline, beginning with you, your character journey gives so much to her grandpa without even realizing it. What do you think is the greatest gift that she gives him when she decides to go and visit and spend some time with him? I think that she, you know, the greatest gift that she gave to him was her believing in him because I feel like there's always that one person who has to believe in you as much as you have to believe in yourself. And I feel like Journey was that for Geronicus and she really helped him find the light and um, just the happiness back in himself. And um, I, I think that she really, really helped him a lot. I, I agree. It was kind of stuck in a place and he needed that light and that exuberance that sometimes only young people can give to us. With Annika, with your role as Jessica, you you truly brought tears to my eyes. You are so phenomenally talented as a vocalist, as an actress. Incredible. What was it like participating in a project like this, being able to once again marry those skills that you excel at both and not having to choose between one? First of all, thank you. That was, uh, that was really kind of you to say. Um, I love when I'm able to do the things that I love together. It's, um, it is always a gift. Um, and it, um, it fills me, it fills me in a different way. You know, people are often asked, so if you had to choose, which one would you choose? Mm. And I I don't know. I don't know how to choose. I feel like um, these are the gifts that God has given me. And thank goodness he also gave me the strength to pursue um, making a craft out of them. And I would be bereft if I couldn't do one or the other or both. So I'm really thankful every time I get a chance to put them together and, uh, and celebrate, um, <laughs> celebrate. Miss <laughs> um, Felicia, I couldn't think of a more perfect person to kind of lead this into the story. You're so woven into the fabric of our lives as a motherly figure, as a leader, as just a warm and overall wonderful person that's been part of our, our lives and entertainment. When you have a project like this, where you get to work with multiple generations of women all together to come for, to create a new narrative of a Christmas tale that marries, that's centered on a black family, but it's not the forefront of the story. You can, and there's nods to African culture and just all of these beautiful pieces coming together for one project. What is that like for you, knowing that you're essentially ushering us into this story as the first, as nearly the first faces that we see as the movie begins? Hmm. It, uh, it it was both gratifying and humbling at the same time. It's just like that. I mean, here mm -hmm. here's a very very special work, mm -hmm. and to be part of it is very gratifying to know that at the very beginnings of this work as people are receiving it, I mean, it's enough to be really be a part of it in any part. I didn't give a special designation to being in one part of it or another. Mm -hmm. The whole of it, the whole of it was gratifying, is gratifying and humbling. Mm -hmm. Being able to see throughout your career different Christmas stories and all of the varieties where we're typically absent from the narrative, unless it's like a, you know, like a ensemble where it's, you know, centered around some discord or something, you know, there's part of that, this story, but it's not really the central, it's about discovery and becoming uh, inspired to, to do what you love. Where do you rank this in, in, you know, your history of seeing Christmas stories, where do you, where does this fit into what we typically see during the holiday season? It doesn't. <laughs> That's why it's so special. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so special. 
that's why it's so good. <laughs> we this this was just I mean, I literally cried. It was so beautiful. It was something just so different than I've seen. It was refreshing to see something new. Madeline, as you become part of this new tradition of holiday story where it's, you know, it's big, it's costumes, it's dancing, it's a whole new story of a bond between a grandchild and a grandfather. What does this mean to you as a young actress to participate in such a grand project this early in your career? I mean, I'm so thankful, I, honestly. Um, it, I, it just, it leaves me speechless. I mean, to just be a part of something so magical and with such great messages that um, it, I mean, I, I don't have any words, truly. It, it's, it's just incredible. Mm -hmm. For Annika, for the songs that you sung it, it was almost like they were tailor-made for you. I know that John Legend worked on uh, the music for the film and it really was a perfect match for your voice, for your range. And you could just feel, you know, the emotion coming from you whenever you sang anything. Do you, what were some of your favorite moments during the course of, of filming the, the project of filming Jingle Jangle? Well, I, um... <laughs> I enjoyed just about everything that I got to shoot and I loved uh, recording the music. Um, I think John Legend is a singular talent um, and I was so pleased with the piece that he wrote. Please sounds so benign, but I'm, it's something when I say I'm pleased about something like it's really actually quite deep within my person. It pleased mm -hmm. me deeply. Um, I loved the song, I loved the music, I loved the history that was woven through the sounds of that music. Um, the way that the music moved and we know how many generations that music has moved through before it got to this version as an R&B um, popish musical thing, um, that it's a much heavier history that that sound has. Um, and I love that. I, it's sort of, it's a new, you know, it's called Make It Work and it is a new work song, but the work that we're talking about right now is, is the, the work that you do in family, that spiritual work, that work of love, that work of mining the love and finding the center core so that you can uh, continue. And I think that um, John Legend is just magnificent at what he does, he's magnificent. Um, so that's a very long answer, but I, I truly enjoyed it. And I would welcome Jump at the chance to work with him musically again. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time, ladies. Beautiful project, beautiful cast. Thank you again. Thank you. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.